Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Webtech Knowledge. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make search in PHP. So here you can see some data over here that we display using PHP. So I'm going to create a search option at the top so that we can search some data. So let's go back to our code and here you can see a table header over here. So just uh, so over here we are going to have a form and inside this form we are going to have an input type. Input type will be text and let's say name is equal to let's say search underscore text and after this input type we are going to mention another input type which will be submit so let's say name equal to search and over here let's say we also say value it, it will be uh, let's say search something so now okay let's also have this form uh, and in the center so let's say our hair align equal to center if we now save it and if you now refresh our hair so here you can see we have a input field over here and a search button over here let's just create a cap over here so let me just say our hair pr save it and refresh okay now there is some gap now what we want that if someone writes something over here and click this or search button then it will show us that specific data so for it uh, in this form we need to mention over here action and a method the method will be get since we want to get data from the database and the action uh, we want to write the sql for search in this uh, display dot php file so we will say over here display dot php so right now we require to write some query or sql in this display.php in order to show some certain search so for it uh, here you can see the uh, php over here we connected uh, this display.php to our database here you can see mysql connect and we say dollar data is equal to something so here we are going to say over here if and we will give a first bracket and inside it we are going to say is set and inside this it said we will say dollar underscore we we'll say get and here you can see a variable name over here so here you can see that in this input type submit we said over here name is equal to search so we are going to say over here search so let's give two second bracket so it means if someone press this search button search something button then it will execute some code uh, inside this if condition so first of all inside this if condition we need to get the search text uh, from here so here uh, let me just declare a variable uh, let's say over here dollar text is equal to we are going to say dollar underscore get and here uh, we are going to mention this here you can see name is equal to search underscore text so we are going to say over here search underscore text so right now we will be able to get the such text over here so right now all we have to do is that uh, write a sql over here we will say dollar sql is equal to uh, we will give to double quotation and we will say over here select then star form we will say our table name which is student then we are going to say our here where and here let me just show you my table uh, if i go to my database over here you can see that my table name is student and here you can see name uh, image and phone number so let's say we want to search the user by name so for it we got to write over here name just like we write in the database so after name we need to say over here like and right now we will give two single quotation and inside it we are going to give two past sentence over here and inside this part percentage uh, we'll give actually uh, two double quotation and we'll give two dot and inside this uh, two dot we are going to mention this dollar text so we'll say over here dollar text so what we are doing is that uh, we are getting the search text and we are saying over here in this sql select star from student where name like this certain text so right now we are going to declare another variable and here we need to declare result dollar result is equal to we are going to say my sql i query 
will give two first bracket and here if I go at the top here you can see dollar data and over here we actually uh, connect our database and we stored it inside this dollar data so what we are going to do is that we are going to mention our here dollar data then we will give a comma and here uh, we write the SQL for search over here so we are going to say over here dollar SQL which is this one and uh, right now just let me mention one more thing is that we need to declare this variable as dollar result because in order to show all the data uh, over here we write a query over here select star from student and here we declare a variable called dollar result is equal to mysql i underscore query over here and if you go down here you can see we write a while loop and inside this while loop we write dollar result fetch aso so using this actually we are showing all the name phone number and the images over here so that is why uh, we require to give the dollar result the same variable over here as well but if you want to give different variable you can do it as well then uh, you would require to create a different psv file and give that psv file name in the action.psv and basically you have to copy the same code all you have to do is that uh, you have to change the change this variable to whatever you give so that will be actually uh, more complicated so it will be better to keep it as simple as possible so we will declare over here dollar result just because we have dollar result over here so now uh, if we now just save it control s so let's go back to our browser and let's just refresh our hair so here you can see all the data and let me just show our hair here you can see the name is yami so let's just show our hair yami and if you press enter okay there is no data i think i made a mistake over here okay there is a gap over here we cannot have gap over here and here as well so let me just show you it online uh, you cannot have any gap over here so now uh, if we just save it and let me just uh, write over here this one and search again so here you can see that image if i say over here uh, kit and press enter here you can see this image and if i press search something without giving anything it will show us all the data now let's say you want to uh, search data by name and by also phone number as well that is also really simple all you have to do is that you have to give a uh, first bracket over here and the first bracket will end over here now let me just copy this on control c and right now we will say over here or then we are going to paste that part and here instead of name over here let's say we want to search it by phone so we will say over here phone so if you now go to my database here you can see uh, my phone i write phone over here like this so you need to write it exactly in the code so right now if i now refresh our hair and here you can see phone number is equal to zero if i write our hair zero and here you can see we also have zero over here as well if i press this on here you can see two data over here and here you can also search it by name as well here you can see something like this so this is how we can make search in php i hope this tutorial was easy and i was able to teach you how you can make search in PSP. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any problem then let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. So stay tuned and stay healthy.